I want to tell you guys is if someone was in the pool, like a friend or a sibling, and they needed help, would you guys jump in after them? Would you jump in after somebody that needed help? No, you would never ever jump in after somebody because right now you're still too little. And so you would end up needing help too. And then we don't want two people to need help, right? So let's think. If someone was in the pool that needed help, what are some things that you could do instead? Could you go get an adult? Yeah, how would you do that? What do you think? Could you scream? Yeah, you could scream and ask for help. You could say, help, help, help! Help, Dad, help! Help, Mom, help! Help, Pops, help! Something like that, okay? So we're gonna practice it. On the count of three, we're gonna scream, help, help, help! As loud as we can, okay? It's gonna be loud, but that's okay. Ready? One, two, three. Help, help, help! Okay, let's do it a little bit louder, ready? One, two, three. Help, help, help! There you go, good job, guys. Okay, another thing you could do. Is there something around here that you could throw to somebody? Look around. What do you think you could throw to somebody? Maybe the yellow mat, but that might be a little bit too big. So if I needed help way out here, but you didn't want to get in, because you can't get in to save somebody, could you throw me something big that floats? What's something big that floats? The yellow mat. What's something else that's a little bit smaller than the yellow mat? The kickboards, or what's right next to them? What do we use to kick? noodles or the barbells. Okay, so we're going to practice. I'm going to pretend like I need help. And first you're going to yell, help, help, help. And then you're going to run and grab me either noodles or kickboards and throw them to me, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Help, help, help. Okay, go get more noodles. I need something else, something else. Oh, thanks guys. Oh good, okay. So once I have things and I'm floating, what would you tell me to do? Say I had these two barbells. How would you tell me to get to the edge? Kick. Kick, so say kick, kick, kick. kick, kick. And then I could be safe. But before that, you yelled for help, so someone would be coming to help me, right? Okay, make sure you stay on the edge, buddy. Um, another thing. If you were trying to reach in for these noodles or barbells or something, would you do it from standing up and reaching in? Can I show you what would happen if you did? Okay, so just watch. So pretend like I wanted these things. And I'm standing up. Oh, I want it, I want it, I want it! Ah! I would fall in. And we wouldn't want to do that, right? So. If you wanted to get something that was in the pool, but you didn't want to get into the pool to get it, how could you do it? So that way you could still fall in like that. Try laying on your bellies. So throw your feet behind you and lay on your belly. Everyone try it. Everyone try it. Here, now get it. There you go, now you can't fall in. Okay, lay on your bellies and try to grab the noodles. Lay, hold on, hold on. So you gotta lay all the way on your belly. All the way on your belly. There you go. There you go. And that is how you could safely get something in the water. Okay? Next thing. If you accidentally fell in and needed help, how, what would you do? Do you have any ideas? Could you roll over and float? And then once you're on your back, you could say, and someone would come help you. So that's why we wore normal clothes today. We are going to practice jumping in like we accidentally fell in the pool. And then we're gonna roll over and yell, help, help, help! And, I, and we're gonna pretend like someone comes and saves you, okay? Sound good? Okay, Luke, stand up. Ready, Luke, jump!
right, now we're gonna motorboat to the edge. One, two, three, motorboat. Kick, 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 kick